Hello there, my little tattoo lovers and everybody else. So, today we're gonna talk about tattoo conventions and is it worth it or if it's not worth it at all in 2024? Because 2024 is completely different than 15 years ago. So, it's gonna be quite interesting. So, and I'm gonna be dividing this in this video so you can actually click if you're a tattoo artist or an organizer or a visitor, you can check all the by the sections so are tattoo conventions worth it in 90 percent it's actually no and i'm gonna explain you why so let's start the first uh, i will talk from tattoo artist perspective and i will not be talking from pro artist first we're gonna talk about just tattoo artists who are participating in tattoo convention so what i would want to have as a tattoo artist who is joining the convention well first of all like uh, many of us are uh, participating to show our skills uh, maybe reach new customer base and show other people what we can do we want to see other people working as well and maybe learn something you know, which is quite important. So, this is what I would like to get as a tattoo artist who is joining the convention. Uh, what I usually get from tattoo conventions as a tattoo artist. Well, first of all, when we're arriving uh, to the location, we get the booth. Uh, usually it's quite small and it always would be better if it's bigger, you know. We get this... Uh, chairs, table, electricity and uh, of course some kind of promotion from the organization part on the social media and stuff like that but in most of the times we need to uh, fight for the customers by ourselves or just bring the customer with us on the convention if you want to participate in nominations so uh, convention is giving us the two artists uh, how should I say, like a uh, place to be, you know? It's actually nice uh, to visit the two conventions because you can see a lot of people and uh, a lot of artists, you can learn a lot if they share information with you and all kind of stuff like this. Plus it's a party, you know? They can be having some live shows, some music and stuff like that after we're working. It's always fun. Not always, but in most of the times it's fun. So. Why not? I, I like to join conventions. I'm joining it super, super rare because I just don't have time for them and it's always a lot of stress. But uh, if you are a young tattoo artist who never been there, I really suggest you to go because you never know what you're gonna get, you know? Uh, something like this. This is what we are getting from the organization part and stuff like this. Now the main reason for this video is uh, to try to make the industry maybe better, maybe not better, I don't know. But uh, let's start thinking from other side uh, of, of you. Let's put it like this. For example, if you are a tattoo artist who is going to this convention, what you decided to go, and you think that uh, by joining this convention, you're gonna be more successful or you're gonna get more, more customers or reputation. Uh, let me settle you down a little bit because uh, it is not worth it in this case. If you go to the convention to have fun, to meet your friends, to enjoy the time in the convention, then it is 100% worth it. And I'm gonna explain you why. Let's start calculating. Usually convention participation, uh, let's take a medium range. Let's say it is uh, 400 euro for three days of the convention. So, minus 400 euro or dollars. And we're talking about small conventions now, not like a big ones or something. Well, we're just taking medium because we are medium artists now and we are taking medium convention. So 400 euros is the participation. Uh, when we are 
beginners or just a medium uh, range artist. Uh, usually, if we want to participate and try to win nominations, we are taking customer with us because we want to be prepared. We need to make a design and everything way before the convention because we don't really want to search for the customer at the convention. It is a super big risk. Yeah. So we are taking good customers or friends. And in this case, most of the times and most of the artists are not charging money for these projects. So we are working for free at the convention. Let's add two more days because day number one, for example, Thursday, we are setting up, we are preparing everything, putting it in the car because convention may be like five hours away from you and we need to go there. So one day goes to preparation. Yeah. And uh, one more extra day to pack everything back, uh, unpack everything in the studio. So basically one tattoo convention can take five days. Yeah. If you're like super crazy and super lucky four. but uh, we're going to take a medium range. It is five days. So five days, uh, convention takes. Then we need a hotel, of course, if it is uh, not in our city or something like this, uh, food and uh, some money for something else. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay. There is one key point. These five days, what we spent at the convention, we actually do not work in the studio where we are earning money. And uh, again, let's take a medium price for a full day session of, uh, let's say, 500 euro. So in five days time, we didn't earn 2.5 thousand euro for five days, like five full day sessions. What we did, we spent 400 euro on the convention, another 300, maybe 400 euro for a hotel. Uh, we didn't earn nothing from the customer. We need to spend money on the traveling. And uh, let's be honest, we are in minus, but we will not take minus. We will take a medium, maybe everything is fine and we went to zero. So basically we spent on this convention in total 1.5 thousand and we got 1.5 thousand from the customer because we were tattooing like three customers, let's say full day session, it's 500 euro. So we went to zero, but we didn't actually went to zero. We didn't work these five days back in our studio. So we actually lost 2.5 thousand euro. And what we got from the convention. First, we didn't get a lot of customers because we was working all the time maybe, we didn't have enough time to chat, so it's kind of useless. Reputation, who cares about reputation nowadays, 20, 2024, everything is on social media. So we wasted our time, we tried to compete in nominations, maybe we win something, maybe we didn't win, it's always a lottery. And then in the end of the convention, you are thinking like, what the fuck? I spent all this time and all the struggle and what I got from the convention. If I went there to try to win something, I didn't win. So basically my mood is going down. I think like, oh, this is like a corruption. They didn't understand what they was judging in the jury. And uh, you just don't feel happy, you know? But if I would not go on this convention and I would invest the same 2.5 thousand euro in my own promotion on social media, for example, like Instagram, Facebook, whatever, for these 2.5 thousand euro, I could easy book myself for few months in advance. Yeah. So we was going on the convention, trying to catch new customers. We didn't do that. Maybe we catched like two or three, four or five. 
But to compare with this 2.5 thousand euro, what we can invest in the promotion of us, it is extremely big difference. Because with this 2.5k, we can get so many customers, you can not imagine, like, and it's actual customers who are bringing the money, you know? So from this perspective, the two convention does not make any sense completely. We're just losing money, losing energy, it's stress, and everything like this. Other point. We're going there to have fun. So we don't care about the money. We go there just for fun. We don't care about nominations. It's all about fun. 100% worth it. Because if you don't think about money or customers or reputation, something like this, you just go there for having fun. Actual fun. Amazing feeling. Yeah? So, please, if you go to the convention, and if you want to be the best, if you want to win something and stuff like that, I, I strongly suggest you to think one more time, because uh, when you will not win, and it is, a, it is a lottery, you know? Because you cannot even say how judges will feel at the day or something like this. Maybe this judge is not even same level as you. Maybe the judge is old school and he don't even understand how you are doing this. Yeah, for example, uh, the judge is like, uh, let's say, 60-year-old motherfucker. You are young, you are like talented, whatever. You want to progress, you understand what you are doing. You are doing realism. Judges from the old school times when they was doing everything with outlines. The judge physically will not understand what you are doing. For him, it's just an image. And for example, if you are doing black and gray, and you're doing it correct with all the high contrast and everything like this, it will look extremely dark when it's fresh. And you understand it will look different when it's healed. Yes? For example, fresh and healed. Two different images, but fresh is looking way too dark. And this judge don't understand shit of how it will actually heal, because in all his, uh, let's say, tattooing way, he never seen something like this. For him it's better to make it, then make a correction, and then it's good. But when you're a professional, you understand how it will look healed straight away, you don't need these corrections anymore, yeah? So we just go full all in, and you understand how it will heal. So, and then you start to think, what the fuck? I know what I'm doing, I know how it will heal, but still I didn't get anything, because some motherfucker don't understand how to do this, or how it will heal, or how it's working, or the technique, yeah? So, this is what I'm talking about. You don't need to, how should I say, think that you will win. Never go to the conventions with the feeling of, I need to win something. Fuck this. Go to the convention when you feel like it, when you want to enjoy the convention. Because this prize, this nomination, will not give you nothing. It's only for, what, five seconds of fame on Instagram? <laughs> congratulations! But all these congratulations will come from your own customers or the people who follow you or something like this. They follow you already. They will not share it to some crazy magazines or whatever. Nomination doesn't give you shit. Nominations give you memories. And that's it. I'm talking about nominations. Do you think that uh, conventions are really fair and stuff like this? For example, check this. <clears throat> the story. I was participating in this convention. I was a special guest. Uh, doesn't matter. So, I participated on this convention with a tattoo which is healed and it was two weeks old and I've done this tattoo at the studio of the organiz organizer of the tattoo convention so basically this tattoo could physically not get inside nomination best of show because this tattoo was not made of on the show yeah you, under you understand this and for this tattoo I got two prizes like best realism and best of show and I was thinking, like, what the fuck is going on? 
I asked the guy later, like, uh, why did I get best of show? Because I didn't do this on the show. He said, oh, you're a cool guy. I just wanted to give it to you. Like, what the fuck? Man, uh, a lot of artists are participating in your convention. They pay money to you in the hope of a good professional jury. And you are doing this kind of shit. So, you never know. It's a lottery. Most of conventions, it's like a friend's convention, you know? Juries are giving prizes to their friends. It is super rare to join the convention who have a professional jury. <sighs> Does anyone remember this nomination? Of course not! I wasn't even posting this, I think. Because it's complete bullshit. Or any other nominations what I was winning, it's complete bullshit. It's not worth it, it's not worth your energy. You know? And I was getting these nominations only because I have a name. And this is super strange. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I just done a good work and stuff like this, but fuck. I cannot get best of show for the work I didn't do on the show. And this already shows how corrupt is the convention and jury in total, you know? This is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't need to aim to win the prize because if there is one other guy who is a friend of the organizer of the convention, most likely he gonna get this prize, not you. So better invest this money in yourself. Never come to the convention in the way of thinking, I want to win this. Fuck this. Enjoy it. Enjoy the convention. Enjoy the party. Uh, one more thing, seen a lot, really a lot. For example, convention is three days in a row. Uh, guys are doing three days in a row piece, but going on the stage every day, for example, for best of show, of trying to win something. Guys, don't do this shit. For example, when I'm in a jury, I always ask, is it finished project or no? And when you are coming on the stage and telling me it's finished, I understand you're lying, so fuck off. Next day, you're coming again with the same tattoo, but you continued it a little bit, and you're hoping for the nomination, fuck off, you lied to me already. It's not finished product, I don't want to judge it, so why should I even give you the price? Impossible. And then on the day number three, when you finish the full piece, you're coming on the stage again and trying to get the nomination. Why the fuck I should do this when another guy actually was doing three days in a row and he came on day number three to show his art. Of course he's gonna get the better votes and stuff like that. He didn't lie to me. He's honest. It's also about honesty, you know? So please, if you are doing three days in a row, just come on the last day when you finish the project, yeah? And as well, most of these people who are coming every day on the stage, and every day they are not getting anything. You, you look at the faces and you understand, you feel this disappointment, you know? I understand that everyone wants to win something. But fuck, imagine you're going like every day and you don't win every day. How humiliating it is, it's crazy, it's giving like super bad vibes to you and stuff like that. So, again, participate convention only to join the convention, only to enjoy it, have fun. Please, do it. I had the same shit before, honestly, I was so driven by fame, glory, whatever, I was trying like, fuck, fuck, I need this, 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 this. But <laughs> now 15 years tattooing, and when you understand all of this, you don't need this anymore. You just go on a convention to have fun. You participate just to have fun. And that's it. Enjoy it, relax. Have fun. Uh, okay, let's just move on then. Maybe I forgot something, maybe no. But uh, let's move to the another sector. Uh, now we're talking from the visitor perspective. 
because I was a visitor on conventions as well. When I'm a visitor, and this is for example my first time on the convention, I don't know what to expect, yeah? And uh, when I'm going on the convention, I would really like to see something a lot, you know? I don't want to be there and see everything in 20 minutes and get disappointed that I paid, let's say like 30 euro or 40, 50 euro per ticket. I've seen everything in 20 minutes, so why the fuck I paid this money if I could just go and eat something in a restaurant or go to another event, yeah? So, me as a visitor, I would like to feel busy all the time during the convention. It can be music, it can be show nominations, it can be freak show, it can be absolutely everything. I want to be busy at your convention. I want to see shit, you know? I'm here to enjoy it, I'm here to have fun. I'm here to talk, maybe I want to meet my artist who I like. Maybe I want to meet someone else, you know? It's all about this. And uh, if I went on this convention and I seen absolutely everything in 20 minutes, there is no fucking way I'm gonna come back on the next year, if this convention will happen next year. So this is the message to organizers of Tattoo Convention. Make uh, more, more fun for me. I'm, I'm the guy who pay you, you know? I'm a visitor, I want to have fun. Something like this, it's super short but super strict. I would say, because, uh, I mean, I talk to people. And uh, this is uh, not only coming from me, it's coming from others, you know? People are getting disappointed super fast and the reputation is going low. But uh, organizers need to understand this. So, please, organizers, make something like crazy, like, come on, it doesn't cost much. Just uh, make me feel busy all the time, you know? I want to do shit. Go eat somewhere. I mean, you cannot have, like one, two, three different kitchens on the convention when you like trying to get like 5,000 people. Fuck that. I want like more. I want to eat there. Then I want to eat there. I, I want to have options to choose from. I understand it's super difficult because many venues don't have a lot of space. But in this case, uh, choose the space for the convention which will fit perfectly for everyone, you know? I'm not talking about parking spots or something like this. It's okay. I can pay for parking, whatever. Or come with a public transport. But fuck, I want to be busy on your convention all the time. Minimum like 3-4 hours. Because 3-4 hours is completely enough for the visitor. You know? What, what I need to do there more. I'm not coming there for, for job or something like this. I just want to enjoy. So, something like this. Yep. Now let's talk from Tattoo Convention organizer perspective, because I did organize my Tattoo Convention as well. So I have experience in all three. Uh, let's start. For example, when I'm Tattoo Organizer, a Tattoo Convention Organizer, I want to be secure that I'm not going in a minus straight away. So, the best way how to calculate for you to not go in a minus and completely stop doing this business in the future is, for example, <clears throat> we have a space for 100 artists. What I need to do is calculate absolutely everything first. For example, rent, electricity bills, uh, attractions, all show, completely everything what I need to pay. And from this amount of money, I can divide. For example, full convention will cost me 40,000 euro. Yeah? Including absolutely everything. What I need to pay in these three days. And I can have 100 artists on this convention. So, what I do? I divide 40,000 euro by 100 artists. Because, first of all, I'm doing this for the artists. And in this case, we have the number of 400 euro from the artist to participate. And when I'm gonna have 100 artists who will participate, 
it means convention went to zero. From this point you can actually go only in the plus and this plus you will reinvest in the future and have a salary from the convention. This plus comes from the visitors. This is extremely simple mathematical thingy, you know, super super simple. To go in plus with the convention you need to do this and that's it. And now comes extremely tricky part. I want artists, I want visitors to be happy. And how to do this? No one knows. Because uh, not many people are sharing real information, especially artists. When you're asking artists who participated in your convention, like, how was it? Most of the times you're gonna get answer like this. It was awesome, when is the next time? But this motherfucker will never tell you that when he went to the toilet it was full of shit. But he will tell it to other artists or to other people. You know? So artists usually don't say the real shit what happened on the convention. So you need to find out about it by yourself from other people and stuff like this. And all these kind of small things makes a bad feeling about your convention. So when you are organizing convention, not only it takes like a half year to make it all complete, a lot of stress, a lot of things, you need to organize everything, you need to find everyone, invite everyone, make a promotion, and you eat a lot of shit after the convention. Especially from the artists, because it's the artists who are mostly not uh, satisfied from your convention, because someone didn't like uh, light in the booth, someone didn't like nominations, someone didn't understand how did you fucking came up to the jury like this and stuff like that. The main victim of tattoo convention is the organizer of tattoo convention. I don't know how to explain it in a different way, you know? So, artists, please, if organizer is asking for your honest review, give a fucking honest review to make this convention better next year. Because imagine there is only one tattoo convention in your area and it goes to shit. And it goes to shit only because you don't say the actual review what you would like to change and give a, like a support to organizers. Then you will not have the convention anymore. And uh, what you need to do, you need to go to different country or completely different area which is not even working for you because there is no people who are gonna come to you from other country or other area just to give a tattoo, you know? And there is no party vibe anymore. So, the tattoo convention, it's not only about tattoo artists, visitors, organizers, it's about the complete, how should I say? It's like a fucking bubble, bubble of everyone and in this bubble, we all need to be satisfied. So to make convention great, you really need to be connected, you know, and say the honest review, make it better and stuff like that. Because <clears throat> for me as an organizer, imagine I'm working like a half a year to make it happen. And of course there will be mistakes. And these mistakes need to be fixed. But I don't know these mistakes. And because of these mistakes, convention number two is in complete shit like minus. And I'm losing a lot of money. It's not, not only I lost money, I lost half a year of time. Please respect my time as well. You know? Something like this. Fuck, I don't know. Maybe I, I missed a point or I missed something, but... This is how I see this, you know, and I participate a lot. Fuck, I was at London Tattoo Convention and London Tattoo Convention is like the highest, highest top what you can get. I was participating there two times 
14 and the last one, 15. I was in a super small conventions. I was in a medium conventions. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it, it's almost the same, you know? So please, join the community of convention. Make it better. Enjoy time. Enjoy it. Support the organizers. Support the artists. Organizers, support the artists. Invite more people, invite friends. Just have fun. I guess that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Enjoy, enjoy this. It's happening only once a year in your location. Make it better. Okay, ciao. I'm not finished yet. So, forgot one thing. Uh, let's sum up. Artists. Please. Enjoy the convention, support the convention, give the reviews to the convention organizers, invite as much as possible people to make this convention bigger in the future, enjoy it, and have fun. Visitors, enjoy the convention to the maximum. Of course, you will not have most of the times so uh, same like a support uh, with organizers because you may not know them. But it's of course better to write some reviews on the internet and stuff like that, so they maybe see this and fix the problem in the future. Organizers, be honest. Listen to the reviews, makes your convention better. Enjoy. I understand how hard this is, this work, but uh, things need to be done. Yeah? So, let's stay inside the bubble of this uh, community convention and make it extremely good. So, communicate, communicate with each other, and make it better. That's it, have fun everyone and good luck. Subscribe to the channel, whatever, I don't care. No, I care. No, I don't care, it's up to you. And see you in the next video. Okay, now, really, ciao, bye.